Hi, I'm Kaylee, and this, these are my team members, Kyle and Seth, and we are Team 336-2, the Brick Warriors. Kyle? Hi, I'm Kyle, and I did both programming and building. Our project consists of three main parts, the station, the dispatcher, and the taxi. It starts when a station sees a passenger, and then it sends a message with one of its long wires to the dispatcher. The dispatcher then sends another message via Bluetooth to the taxi, and the taxi drives to the station to pick up the passenger. The taxi then reads the color of the passenger's torso and drives to the color corresponding station on the map. Seth? Hi, I'm Seth. I'm the head builder. I'm going to be talking about the taxi and the holder for the person. For our holder for the person, we have a touch sensor in the bottom and a color sensor. We press the touch sensor with the person, and the color sensor reads the person's torso. Our taxi robot has a color sensor and a light sensor. We use our light sensor for following the line to, as a road, and we use our color sensor to know when to stop at different stations to pick up or drop off a passenger. Here's Kaylee. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I was the head programmer. As, a pro as our programming language, we use uh, NXTG. We use pro a proportional line follower to make our line following smoother and quicker. A proportional line follower will adjust the motor power due to how far off the line it is. So if it's really far off the line, we'll, we will, the robot will adjust the motor power more. If it's only a little bit, then it will only adjust it a little bit. We use my blocks to have more space in our program so we wouldn't have very long programs. Also, we use the Bluetooth communication to, to communicate with the dispatcher and the taxi. Let's test it. The light on indicates that the taxi is waiting for a passenger. The ultrasonic sensor senses a man and then sends a message to the dispatcher, which then sends a message to the taxi, and the taxi will go to pick up the waiting passenger. I'm putting in the yellow passenger. Seth will press down the touch sensor, and the color sensor will read the color, display it on the screen, and then take it to the corresponding station. I will press down the touch sensor and then take the man out. But first, let's check the fare. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. The fare is $18.31. Bring it a little closer. I can't read it. Okay. I think I How we calculate the fare is we charge one cent per millimeter. Now the light is on, indicating that the, pass the taxi is waiting for a passenger. Let's test it with multiple calls. I am putting in the red passenger. Blue. Blue passenger. <laughs> the fare $3.49. Now the taxi will go to pick up the next waiting man at the next station. I'm putting in the red passenger. The fare is $18.05. And that's it. Thanks for watching.